So today we're out again, fat and free standard, and today we're trying out the course lock. Now the course lock, you won't find this on the newer drones. For some reason, they don't do it. And what the course lock means is the drone will be set in a straight line. And as you're flying in that straight line, because it's locked onto it, you can turn the drone around. So as you're going past something, you can virtually turn it around and it will still keep going in that straight line. Now this, I think it's a fantastic mode, especially if you're doing like um, a lighthouse or some sort of tower or structure, because as you're going past it, you can turn the drone while it's still flying. And anyway, what I've done today, I'm back out again at the old railway station. And as I go past the railway station, I'm gonna keep the drone. Now don't forget, with the Phantoms, um, it doesn't really go in a straight line. It, it sort of goes off a little bit. So it is a bit of practicing, but as you go in that straight line, I'll be turning it and uh, we'll see how it goes. But I've, it's a very interesting mode. Like I said before, you won't find this on the new drones like the Mavic Mini and that. You can't do it on those. So, you know, it has got its uses, the standard still. So let's get on with it. Now, as always, guys, always check the drone, the, like I said before, the rubbers, the pins, check the camera, the props, make sure they're on securely. Have a quick look around for any cracks because they're old drones now, they do get cracks. And as you can see on mine, I've already got a, a thing on there anyway. So yeah, we'll just get it all set up and I'll show you how to go through it. Life can't help but be structured, sometimes too much so. It gets to the point where you crave not necessarily the lack of structure, but more freedom. Freedom to be expressive, creative, to take things that people tell you that you can't do and bump it up to the top of the bucket list. We're always looking for ways to enable that. The Phantom 3 Standard is a flying camera that matches your lifestyle. It's a fully integrated, user-friendly quadcopter and is ready to fly right out of the box. So I've gone into the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi's got the Phantom on there, so we've done all that. So we go into the app now, the DJI Go app. We just wait until it connects up. It's all connected. Now, like I said before, you can format a card. I always format a card before I fly out. I always make sure, obviously, I download everything onto my computer. Just format the card at the bottom there. It just makes sure it's all done. It's all been turned, yep. So we can come out of that. Let's get a drone in the air first. You can't do anything until you've got the drone in the air. So we do a takeoff. The home point has been takeoff. Okay, so the drone's going up. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to set my uh, GoPro up a minute. So the GoPro's capturing as well, what's going on. Okay, let's get the drone up a little bit. You don't have to go up too high if you don't want to. Okay, the, I mean, obviously flying into the sun at the moment, so the picture's not going to be brilliant. I should have done it the other way round now. Anyway, the S1 switch. If you flick the S1 switch down, you get the, the modes come up. See the little uh, drone sign there, press the drone sign. Look on there for the course lock, that one. Right, you've got the drone facing forward. So this is the, 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 the area it's gonna go for. You apply that. Okay, it's on course lock. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna hide that a moment. Now don't forget, if you wanna stop it any time, just press the stop button, that'll come out, or just bring up the S1 switch. So there we go. I'm just gonna turn it now. So as I'm turning it, the drone's going in a straight line. I'm just going up near the building now. Obviously, you can do it slowly. Let's do it again, do it the other way around. 
I think what it is is a bit of practicing. I'm just going to bring the drone back towards me. Bring it back. Now, don't forget, obviously, everything is back to front now. But, see, it's just getting a bit used to, because I'm doing it back to front now. I'm not the best <laughs> person with things going back to front. So, just bringing it back. Still on cool slot, believe it or not. But, like I said, you can still turn it. Let's bring it, let's do it, let's do another one because that one very good. I think mainly it's it's about going forward. I'll just, I'll just gonna bring it down a little bit. So we've got the camera facing towards us at the moment. Turn it round. We've still got it on course lock. I'm gonna do it again, a bit slower this time. Let's bring it over a little bit. Like I said, it's not the best for going in a straight line, but you, you can get the gist of it. And I think the more practice that you're doing, the better, really. So, you, I don't know if you noticed, guys, but my controller looks slightly different now. What I've done, I've gone back to how it should have been with the area on it. Um, now, I've, somebody give me, the Artec people give me a, a range extender to try out, which I had to fit. And once it's fitted, you can't really take it off. Anyway, I was getting so fed up with it. it. It does work, but it's not brilliant. But the, the only thing I didn't like about it was, is when the drone used to go to the side, because it's a directional uh, range extender, not like this. this. This, If the drone went past me, I'm still connected. But with the range extender, it used to lose signal, uh, either it returned to home or things like that. So I've gone back to that. That's all I need. It's got... It's got about a thousand meter range. Sometimes it's get this lot less. Sometimes it can go a little bit further. I'm not really fussed really with the drone. I just like trying to capture things near me anyway. Anyway, going back to the course lock. Um, at its time, <laughs> it was it was pretty good, but with the Phantoms going in a straight line, it was not. It's not renowned for that. It does tend to go off on one, and when you're turning the drone. It does tend to drop for some reason, or it goes off slightly, especially if you're coming back. It's about practicing all the time. And one thing I don't like about these modes is you spend more time messing about with the modes, wasting battery time than just actually flying the drone. But it is an aid, you know, especially if you're, especially a lighthouse, something like that, a tower or anything that you, and it is a lot of practicing, just turn it slightly. That's another thing with the frams. When you're turning, it does go quite quick, so you've got to be really nimble on the old sticks there. But anyway, give it a go. Um, like I said before, you can't get the course lock on the newer drones. Why, I don't know, because I think if they did try that, that would be very good. But for some reason, it's not. But anyway, the next one, I think it's the most important for any drone and that's the return to home or the RTH. Now, on all the drones, the RTH was the most important. Uh, many loss of signal, which does happen, unfortunately, or you, you're keeping an eye on the drone, you're keeping an eye on the screen, you've come back up, you've lost sight of it. I always use return to home, mainly because um, I like using it for putting the video on, because as it's coming back, you can do some lovely shots with the return to home and it comes back virtually where you took off. Now, obviously with the, um, God, God, there's, the, there's a farmer over there with a couple of dogs. Anyway, <laughs> that's what the next video is going to be about. So I hope you enjoy the video uh, as always. And uh, yeah, return to home. Don't miss it. <laughs>
turn off your controller, obviously you're going to get nothing on the screen and you've got no control of the drone. Um, and what the drone's going to do, obviously, it's going to return to home, it's going to land where it took off from or near enough. The only problem is you've got no control of that drone, so you can't stop that drone unless you can get your tablet back up and running. But we're just going to try this as um, a demo. So just bear that in mind, that once that drone comes back, it's going to land, I, I can't do anything. So we'll see how it goes. So I've lost the picture on my screen. I turn off the controller. Down, back in the same place as the program, that'd be a miracle if it did. It's coming down.